Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about getting the order of the drawing correct. This is a uh, whiteboard image that I will show you here. What I'm concerned about mainly are the facial features. You'll notice that one eye shows up and then the rest of the body gets drawn and then towards the end this eye basically just appears. There's one eye, and then the other eye. So I'll play it one more time. So within Illustrator, I've got the file open. I just save a copy. And I just go fixed. Okay, when you have the document open in Illustrator, you want to go over here and you'll see all the paths that make up this image. Okay, and as you scroll down, allow everything to load. And you'll notice that if I uncheck the view, that parts will start disappearing, like here. So these are all the, the individual paths and fills, strokes. They're all based on paths, but um, what we're worried about here is the order that they get drawn in. So what I'm going to do first is I have to figure out where the eyes are. And so I'll zoom in, and I'll go here, and these eyes are actually made up of two separate paths. They have the actual white center to the eye and then the rest of the eye here and we've got two eyebrows so what I'm going to do first is go for the right pupil right click and I'm going to say isolate selected path over here it's going to go and isolate that one thing so I can type in right pupil then I'm going to go to the drop down right here oh right above and exit isolation mode and now we're back and you'll see the right pupil is right at the top here um, and I'll take the time now to mention the drawing order goes from the bottom up so the first thing that gets drawn is down here and then it works its way all the way up so I'm just gonna go and isolate all of these things here I'm gonna isolate selected path and rename it left pupil. I'll go here, oh sorry, here, exit isolation mode, select this eye, isolate right eye, exit isolation mode, select this guy here, isolate left eye, Exit. Left eyebrow. Exit. Isolate selected path. Right eyebrow. Exit isolation mode. Okay. So, I've got my right pupil, my left pupil, if I scroll down, right eye, left eye, right eyebrow, left eyebrow. So let me first bring all the elements together. And now, I'm going to put left with left, so left eyebrow, left eye, left pupil. And make sure that the pupil is always higher than the eye, because if you move the pupil below, you'll see that the pupil is now below uh, and out of sight. So we've got to keep that pupil above here. And I've got right 
what do we have? Eyebrow, eye, pupil. So I'll do eyebrow, eye, pupil. Okay, I'll take all of these and I'm going to drag them down. And we have to be careful about where we end up placing these. Um, if we place them too far down, they're going to disappear. So let me go down here. They're still visible. Okay, maybe we can go even further. Not bad. Okay. So I wanted to get to a point where you'll notice they disappear. So you don't want to go too far down. You want to make sure you're in a place where they're still visible. So I'll move these all up and you'll see that the eyes start reappearing there. And I also want to mention that sometimes everything looks good here and then when you bring it into your whiteboard video creator that something's not quite right and you might need to mess around with the order a little bit more. But let me save this image and I'm going to bring it in to explain to you now and we'll see if we have uh, success or not. So here's fixed. Okay. Let's take a look. Wonderful. Alright, so if I play the scene, watch the guy on the left first and then watch the eyes on the right here. Notice the eyes, one eye, and then the second one. Watch here, eyes are done. The order is much more natural and, uh, I mean, let's be honest, it's a little freaky to see a guy with one eye for half the time. You want to have the eyes drawn together. That little change alone is going to make a big difference when it comes to your clients and the viewer enjoying the video as opposed to being kind of disturbed by it. And thank you as always for watching.